the overachiever, the average person, and the underachiever. And you have to determine which one you are. Uh, chances are, if you're an overachiever, you already understand that you're an overachiever and you know why. If you're an average person and you can't seem to get over the hump, you're probably wondering why you can't get over the hump. And if you're an underachiever, uh, chances are you can't figure out anything, which is, you know, kind of what leads to you being an underachiever. Uh, so let's take a step back and say uh, the overachiever tends to see things as they are. So when they're in a situation, they see the situation as it truly is and they can adjust and figure out how to navigate through that situation, good or bad situation. Um, so they always seem to be ahead of the curve. They always seem to, 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 that's the person in your life or the person you see from a distance who's always a winner. Everything seems to come easy for them uh, and, and that's considered an overachiever. And again, it's because they see things as they are. They don't delude themselves, they don't have any preconceived notions, they don't really have many distractions. Their lives are clear, their thought processes are clear and they can see things exactly how they are and they can adjust to the situation and succeed. The average person uh, is in a situation and really doesn't understand the situation until someone else tells them what their situation is. Usually you're the person who um, you're in a bad relationship and you don't realize it or you're at a really you're at a dead-end job you don't realize it. You're heading for a financial crisis and you don't realize it. Uh, and you don't realize it until someone else tells you, i.e. a shutoff notice or a good friend of yours tells you that you're in a bad relationship or um, someone tells you that you know, you're about to be laid off and then you realize it. And unfortunately, because you're always a step behind, it's too late. And instead of you being proactive like the overachiever, you're always reactive. And so I guess that's a good way to put it. Overachiever is a proactive person. They take actions before something happens uh, to put themselves in a good position. A average person is reactive. Some, an event happens and then they react to it. They're always uh, reactive, always having to adjust to something that's happened to them. Uh, and so you're always a step behind and you're always tired, worn out. You're always kind of running around. Um, and, and I'll use a sports analogy later that will kind of help clear, that, clear this up for you if you still don't, don't uh, get, get the picture. The underachiever is a person who is neither proactive or reactive. They simply do nothing. Life just kind of happens to them. Situations come and go, and they just kind of stand pat, and they accept everything that's given to them. Um, and nine times out of ten, if you are an underachiever, the people around you are taking advantage of you or putting you in situations that they wanted you to be in because it benefits them somehow. Uh, and, and you... you because you're not proactive or reactive, because you really can't see things for how they are, the person that you think is your friend is constantly getting over on you. You're constantly um, struggling, never able to get over the hump. Actually, you can't see the hump because you're so far below where you should be because you just can't seem to put things together. You just don't see things as they are. And um, my grandmother used to always say, you know, common sense isn't so common. And you'll find that the underachiever is usually the person that doesn't have a lot of common sense. You know, maybe they're book smart, maybe they're not book smart either. Um, but they absolutely don't have any common sense. So they can't put two and two together in a situation to come up with a resolution or come up with a way to get out of that situation or how to, uh, or come up with a way to um, navigate this situation or some circumstances happen to them. They always seem to be struggling and just kind of going uh, from issue to issue, bouncing around as issues occur. Um, but I want to talk about and, and use a sports analogy. Uh, I play a lot of racquetball, or used to play a lot of racquetball, and I'm a better than average racquetball player, but I always run into guys who are better than me, older men, older women who are better than me. And I'm always running around the racquetball court trying to hit the ball. And I always notice that those more experienced racquetball players are sitting in the middle of the court at a certain position. And they are only taking one step to the left, one step to the right, and they're hitting the ball where they want to. They're being proactive. I have to be reactive to them. I always have to go chase the ball to where they hit it and run. And, and they've got me running around, and I can never get ahead. I can never win a game against these people because they're proactive and I'm reactive. So that's a good case of an average person being me in the rack, on a racquetball court and an above-average person being my opponent. The above-average person dictates what I have to do.
And because they can dictate what I have to do, they don't really have to do anything. They see the situation before I do. They see where the ball is going before I do, and they can take one step left to right. I'm the one running around, bouncing off of walls, falling all around, trying to catch up to them. And so that's a great analogy, uh, or I think it's a good analogy to, to kind of illustrate the difference between a proactive person and a reactive person. Now, if you put a below average person in a racquetball court, they wouldn't move at all. The ball would just fly by them. They just don't know how to react. And common sense would say, the ball just went that way, you should hit it. But again, we talked about this earlier. The below average person doesn't have common sense. Things just don't add up to them. And so that's why in a racquetball court, they just sit still and let the ball go by. They just don't get it. The proactive person is the dominant player. That's the player who can put the ball in a place where the average player has to run and chase to go get it. The average player, if they score a point, it's just because simply they're lucky. Luck just happens to fall on their side. And in life, you can't depend on luck. Because as soon as your luck changes, you're up the creek, as they say. And you don't know how to change your luck because you're an average person. You're waiting for someone else to tell you what it takes to change. And I'm trying to make your life different. I'm trying to give you the advantage by saying, okay, if you're an average person, let's, let's get you to the next level. Let's get you to be above average. Let's get you to think ahead. Uh, of, of, of your situation and let's get you to start calling the shots instead of letting life or your environment or other people call the shots for you and you simply reacting to them and basically treading water. So average person treads water, the above average person is swimming just fine and the below average person is underwater. Think about that. Above average, above water. Average person, treading water. Below average person, underwater. You have to think about which one you want to be.